Do you like attractive people? Do you like TikTok? Do you like attractive people on TikTok? Well, it seems that the algorithm does. So basically, <laughs> I'll just cut to the chase. Someone sent me this account on TikTok. If abs had a personality, if abs had a TikTok, if abs had a gallon of milk, this is what their account would look like. Today, we're looking at Teo Richie, Teor, Teor Itchy. Tayor is itchy. Tay or itchy. <laughs> Maybe using your looks to, to gain popularity on TikTok is not necessarily a bad thing, but it is certainly goofy. Today I have Gunner TV joining me to look at the milkman. What's up? I'm known as the guy without abs, and that's my entire personality, is no abs. And you're gonna use that to skyrocket to TikTok fame. Every single video, I mean, we're looking at his page right now. It's abs is all I see. It's it's actually exclusively all I see. Uh, my account would just be me with like several shirts on. Okay, multiple. Uh, so that's where we're different. So the first one that I was sent was this. So much to say. I have so much to say. So what is this? <laughs> Like what? Yeah, is that's the, the first question. Uh, well, I'm the milkman. I mean, that's obvious. That's that's his. That's his yep, uh, that's the caption. I'm the milkman. Yep. When you first sent me this, I originally thought this was a Dobre brother. I was, I thought this was like the most like eccentric Dobe brother <laughs> that like maybe they don't even want to film with because he's just he's so over the top. Because I mean, he's got the milk, he's got the abs, he's got nipple what? piercings. Like why? Like why is this video? You know what I mean? Why? Who? What? Where? When? So he's the milkman. You know, I think I'm gonna start ordering milk again if this is what my milkman looks like. Order it in bags like Canada. Yeah, I think I think maybe that's what he's trying to get at is that we need to bring back milkmen, but we have to make it cool and sexy nowadays. I mean, I think of a milkman yeah. from the 1950s. I'm I'm thinking of a nerd. I'm thinking of kind of a dork. I mean, you're drinking milk. What Gross. are you, a baby? Is this a political statement? Is he trying to bring back delivering milk to revive the milk industry? Is he paid by Big Milk? I think I think I kind of uh, am inspired to drink milk again because he's kind of he's kind of showing like, hey, like you know, it, milk can grow your bones and get yeah. you all big and strong. Just like you can me. be like him. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so far, good message. This one's a 10 out of 10 from me on the tier list. Of I've changed my milk. mind from the first time I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> if you drink every day, what are you? Addicted. If you like to mm, every day, what are you? Addicted. What slapped you across the face last night? Addicted. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. So that was a nice, Classic. like, elementary school prank. I mean, he looked pretty silly at the end there, for sure. This, you know, the modern pranksters these days, they don't do it like Tayo. I don't like how there's, uh, there's a lack of milk in this one. Yeah, I think this one could use more milk. Don't say this word. Addicted? Yeah, or else you'll look silly like that guy. Yeah, put the edit <laughs> on yourself right now. Addicted? It was at this moment that he knew. Brother, where you from? I'm from Russia. Well, I'm not from Russia, but I'm, I'm rushing to give you this. Sure, but let's give me what? All this? Like this? Suka. Saka Saka? You? No Saka, no. You're a Suka. Suka, you're a zero. I'm a ten. You're a small. I'm very big. Really? Very big. Let's find out. You, you wanna, wanna find out? I wanna find out. Come find out. Okay. okay. Let's go. More on IG. What's happening after this? Also, that was totally fake, right? I mean... He, I know, these are all was, so staged. He knew he was gonna say Russian, right? After the whole addicted joke. I'm addicted to you. You know that Simple Plan song? I don't, actually. It was at that moment that Gabby knew she was old. Maybe I can just close my eyes and pick one. Ah, no, I, oh, liked, I liked it. it. <laughs> I do that every time. I'm a 10, but. He has his nipples pierced? I don't know. I'm a freak. I'm a Virgo. I'm a 10, but. You have a ponytail. I don't hate the ponytail. You have a mullet, but like you're holding it back. I only unleash it privately, so. Would you like to see that? Yes, I would. You would? Yeah. Unleash it, let's go. Oh. I'm a 10, but. Your shoes are like so old. Why? I'm a what? 10, but. They're Balenciagas, right? So like, where, where is he? What is this venue? These seem like on the street, but these are definitely just like his friends that he invited over the back of someone's house. I mean, look at the house. top right. He looks like he's just outside of an apartment complex. I, yeah. I don't know what, it looks like a back, a backyard lawn. Whoa. Those abs were so powerful that it made me drop my phone. But it's okay because not even those abs could pierce this Casetify phone case. Thanks to Casetify for sponsoring this video. I use Casetify's EcoShock and military standard phone cases every day, and my phone has survived many, 
many accidental drops. If I was 11 and a half feet tall, Casetify's cases will still protect my phone as if it was being dropped from 4 foot 9 inches tall. I would also be terrifying at that height. So you're getting the same eco shock protection while your phone stays looking slim and sleek, so no more carrying around a brick in your pocket. Especially with all the customization, you can design your own phone case, or if you're too lazy or too busy working out like Teo, there are endless phone case designs from artists to choose from on Casetify's website. And here are the ones I got. I got this one, I got this one, and I got this one, and I also designed this one. Plus, Casetify's phone cases are made from other recycled phone cases and plant-based material, which is just a nice added bonus to not feel guilty about. So whether you're upgrading your iPhone or not, or if you have an Android, head to Casetify.com for their latest iPhone 14 impact case series, as well as their cases for iPhone 13 or earlier devices. Go to Casetify.com slash Gabby Bell today to get 15% off your order. Thanks to Casetify for sponsoring this video. And now back to the abs. He dropped this song. Should we take a look? Cause he's made TikTok. He's made so many TikToks just promoting it. Is this all for his music career? This is all promotion? Maybe. Hate this city. What city are we talking about? Yeah, what I city? Life. I hate where I live. I hate everything. I hate right, where I let's live. Let's do something with it then. It's unnamed city. Yeah, man, I've been working. Let's, let's write a song. Write a song about it? All right, all right. Let's just make a song about it. All right, see. Is that how you make your songs, Gabby? Where is this? That looks like... Oh, it's LA. It's LA, yeah, there we go. Kind of shot well. Yeah, I kind of like the cinematography. Do you hate it? I don't hate it, but I need to hear the drop. All right, I'm not a fan of the hook, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, okay, I trust your expertise here. Okay, so that's a song that he has. This is the one that he kept promoting on his, uh... oh, he literally dropped this 10 hours ago. Oh, wow, we are we got the hot scoop on this one, wow. Hey. Can I say something real fast? Please. Are we, is this not exactly antithesis to the last video where he was like, LA, all these demons, I hate this city. And now he's like, West Coast girls, party it up. I love it. <laughs> hey, a lot can change in four months. He has the same outfit going on, the chain and no shirt. You're, you're calling this an outfit now? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, I, I think <laughs> it's a, I think it's a fit. So he's been promoting this song with like the man on the street interviews. What's your favorite song? Katy Perry. Which one? Firework. Firework? All right, I'll sing yeah. it for you. Ready? Cause baby, you're a fire. Firework. Oh wait, <clears throat> I had something in my throat. Hang on. Party girls. Oh my god. On the west side, they be turning up on the party bus. They'll be happy as long as you give them some alcohol. Do you like it? Oh, it's great. So based on the song, how many monthly listeners do you think I have on Spotify? Probably like a million. She looks so disinterested. The setup doesn't make sense. He didn't even. <laughs> He just sang a different song. His joke was to sing Firework poorly and then sing his actual song really good. So the girl's like, oh my God, you're so good. But he didn't sing Firework. <laughs> She said, she, he said, he said, what's your favorite song? She said, Fireworks by Katy Perry. He started and they said, sorry, something's in my throat and just sang a different song. He's still not singing her song. He's just, he just switched songs for no reason. Also, why does he ask how many Spotify monthly listeners they think he has? Let's see how many monthly listeners he actually has. I'm curious. I mean, the, the YouTube video views were pretty good. Party girls. They love to party. I love party On the party, party bus. But fuck these demons in LA. I'm scared. I want to get out of here. Fuck this place. I hate this city. We built this city on rock and roll. It was at this moment. Oh, he's got a million streams. 62,000 monthly listeners. I mean, these are really solid listens. I mean, it makes sense because he is Australian, I think. Monthly listeners most popular in Sydney, Australia. But then Oslo, Norway? Wow. They're going hard in Norway. Damn. Yeah, they're really bummed. Bump and Teo Richie in they're, Oslo, Norway. They're relating Norway. to the LA, to the LA stories. Yeah, LA party life. And then London, but then Brisbane and Melbourne. I think the only suspicious one is Oslo. I feel like I don't know how anybody is listening to this 
without being almost just like in the same situation we are. It's like, who is this guy? Okay, let me see his songs real fast. Here's I'm going to play one for 30 seconds. Okay, let's hop off. Is anyone actually a fan? If you're a big Teo Richie fan, please comment. Let us know. All right, so like based on the sound of my voice, like what would you rate me out of 10? Probably say one. Why? You're just ugly. So you wouldn't ride it? No. Look over there. Look over there. All right, what about now, baby? I mean, we knew it was coming. Yeah? Yeah. How I mean, would you rate me? Now, perhaps you're hitting a solid 10. Let me rate you. Come here. I'm, I'm gonna have to give you a 10 as well. Do you wanna get out of here? No, you too hot. Let's go. Oh my God. Hot. Part two coming to IG. Are we sure he doesn't have an OnlyFans too? Yeah, what's going on here? Are you sure he's promoting music? Uh, I don't know if that's all he's promoting. All socials on IG. So I have to go to his Instagram in order to find everything else. Mamma mia! Gunner. I'll be right back, Abby. I just gotta go do something real fast. Uh, mid video. I'm sorry. I just gotta, I gotta take. Are care you of calling him? Fast. No, no. Oh my god. I'm gonna call him. Actually, that's such a good idea. 402. Oh. No. Immediately. It? It's a VoIP. I guess it's only a text number. Oh, that's disappointing. Maybe we should send him a text. Hey man, love the milk and the abs. Keep it up. So after I sent the, hey man, I love your milk and the abs, keep it up, it goes, uh, I get an automatic reply and Ooh. it says, this is a conversation with Teo Ricci. Your carrier's normal message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, anytime to leave. To get started, let Teo Ricci know your name by visiting and it gives me a URL with like, I'm pretty sure just like a disco, a distro kid. So I think it's just promoting his music. No way. Wait, what? so what happens it's if you click on it? Is that like a pre-save link? Oh wait, okay. It takes me to a distro kid landing page where it just says, you're texting Teo Ricci, your name, your city, your birthday, your gender identity, save. Oh, uh, why do you need all that info oh. for me to text you, Teo? <gasps> Knew oh, it. he's got the OnlyFans! Spotify on here, his Amazon wish list. What's on his Amazon wish list? That's so funny. There's two things on his wish list, and it's a bed frame that's no longer available on Amazon, and then LED lights that are $25 <laughs> that he could definitely just buy himself. <gasps> when was this? This was in July of this year. He's got a shirt called Said's Daddy's Milk. Yep. And it's coming off, of course. We saw that one coming. Of course. We're just friends. So don't go you dodge a bullet, Teo. It's okay. You're not young enough? It's because you aren't a minor. Sheesh. So this is Teo's second account. This is content. Where are they? Are they in like an airplane <laughs> hangar? Yeah, it looks like a hangar. Or like a plant uh, greenhouse gas room kind of thing. I like the three guy. They didn't even say like. It just says I the three guy. <laughs> Me too. I'll give that one a like. Because they left out the like in the sentence, I'll give them a like. So that's an interesting revelation with him. Okay, I need to see this turtle one. I really just need to see it. Oh no, come oh. on. I'm gonna have to blur this out. I thought it was gonna be him banging the turtle. <laughs> I didn't know what I thought what it was gonna be. I had no expectations. I didn't think it was gonna be making the turtle look like his so that's- I think we covered everything we about this guy. Okay, I want to do this one as a closing out one, because I don't know what the f is happening here. Okay, hold on, I need the sound on. Wait, is there no audio? Cinematography is- oh, I must have muted it. I think it muted the- it's okay, I think it's better without audio. I think it's better that it's silent. Yeah. Ah, uh, What the eyes. fuck? I'm kind of wondering what the audio even could have been. <laughs> I know, like, can we make up audio to this? Like, if we start it over? Uh, uh, I want, I want, like, can we put, like, the Goku? Hold on. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> That's great. Thank you, Batman. I'm saved. The dice roll Batman. I love the dice roll Batman. That's he's, a classic. He's playing an intense game of Yahtzee. Yep, so that's Teo Richie. <laughs> I, I don't think we got too much to say uh, besides, you know, keep up the abs. Yep. Thank you, Gunner, for being on my channel and for exploring this person with me. This absolutely great TikToker. Yeah, party patrons. On the west side, they be turning up on my Patreon. Yeah, they're happy because they're gatekeepers and they're awesome. 
Yeah, party patrons. So did you like that song? That's your favorite song, right? That's Firework by Katy Perry. Hope you liked it.